Hey everybody, welcome to Black Arrow Gaming. I'm Bob. This is the 23rd episode of my second Age of Wonders 3 co-op strategy series, and as you can see, we got jumped. I actually thought about this after we ended the last episode and then forgot to make a note to myself that we needed to attack this city really fast before they turned around and attacked us, because having reloaded the game, they sort of rethink about how they're going to use their movement points, because their turn is unended. So Dan and I are going to have to fight this battle. The one advantage we have is we don't have to fight on um, going up their walls, but uh, well, there's nothing really to do other than just play it out here and, and see what happens, I suppose. It says a closely matched battle, so... Oh, I didn't see the second army there. That was the one yeah. in the city, huh? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. This could be a little bit tough, but let's... Uh... Well, you got those... You got those priests back there. They'll come to us, so I say we get together, find a good spot to defend, and rely on as many range attacks as we can. We're trying. Uh, Bob, you're in a really bad spot. <laughs> I'm gonna expect you to do something about those death ringers. Although it doesn't really matter if I don't lose a character, right? Or we don't lose, so. Well, I mean, if you guys lose, I'll just clean up the mess. Right. True. I mean, even if we lose <laughs> these <laughs> armies, true. I mean, even if we lose these armies, we've still got a crap ton of other stuff yeah. in the area. So it'll just be inconvenient for a bit. Yeah, that's probably good. I'll just wondering if we could. I guess just this line of rocks and bushes that my units are kind of in here. Just kind of use those as a wall and hold them off as best we can. Oh, and I'm out of casting points. Wonderful. I don't know if they are. My hero. I, I would assume no. My leader is. I've only got one out of a hundred, but um, the sorcerer hero has some. And she's got, she's actually got 50 casting points. I'm thinking I'm going to cast physical protection on one of your orc shock troopers and just let him go nuts. Sounds good. I'm trying to figure out, do any of them have killing momentum yet? Or do they all no. start with that? Killing momentum's not till elite. These guys are brand new. Yeah, that's an elite. Yep. Okay. Well, still probably better having it on them than anybody else. Let's see if we can lure that Deathbringer into coming after us. Depending on how they come in, I'll send one shock trooper off after that trebuchet, just so it's not an annoying pain in the rear. I send one up around here and just to have you, a cavalry over there or that cavalry can go after it okay I need those guys behind front lines that looks okay and I'm gonna do harmonizing energy yeah I'm probably gonna harmonizing energy this guy Deathbringer does have shadow step. So can reach with that, right? Yeah. In fact, the Deathbringer will probably flank my sorcerer now that I think of it. Unless you throw curse on something, which actually won't work because they're all undead. Mm-hmm. You got Banefire. You've at least got two channels of damage that should do pretty well against him. Mm-hmm. Unless they have, yeah, they got both fire and spirit weakness. We should be okay. I do have comments to go over, um, but I'm gonna probably wait until this battle is over. Try not to forget to do that. I might go through some of them as uh, Jake and Dan are doing their battles. Deathbringer went after your horse. <laughs> Did, huh. which is annoying because that prevents me from going after the trebuchet. There's 
sorcerer to turn it around. Yeah, but Deathbringers will still hit anything. Oh, that's their, right. Uh, their total awareness. Well, I could sacrifice my Black Knight to probably kill the hero. But I don't know. I mean, he's just going to get wrecked by all those cavalry coming from that direction. You know those are knights, right? Yeah. You said cavalry. Well, I just said cavalry because <laughs> of the class of unit they are. <laughs> yeah, but if you think those are cavalry coming in, you're going to be in trouble. That guy is not taking too much damage. Alright. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to bunker in position. like your life depends on it because it definitely does not just Steel. his life <laughs> and just fortify here let him run into that wall of units <clears throat> Whale of Despair does no good against them either they're all undead right mm -hmm. At least that did a lot of damage. Cool. Oh yeah, that's right. As we're killing these things, I get casting points back, even if you kill them. So eventually <laughs> I will be able to cast spells the more of these units we kill. Oh, I forgot I should have probably... Well, it didn't seem to matter too much. <laughs> that won't matter as oh, long my. as we win the battle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh gosh. Here come the Oh, oh. gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, I really wish I'd researched tireless army three turns earlier and had casting uh -huh. point. Okay, that's enough cadavers. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Unfortunately, he moves after me immediately, so you can't turn any of my dead stuff into cadavers. No, hopefully he can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get this thing off of you so you can deal with the cadavers. Well, Bob, keep in mind, you could do that, too. Right, but I can only do it with that reanimator. No, yeah. you can do it with all your units. Yeah, all your undead oh, do, but you mine that's are the only... Right. Because, because, because the event I triggered, that's why he was able to just do again, it. Again, the at that, problem like, is my units are the only right. ones that can be revived, and he moves immediately after I do, which means Bob does not get a chance to do that. Uh, no, I can, I can raise corpse on his units. It works on undead units, too. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think that's a great, great idea. So does that mean that his raised cadavers can be re-raised by you as cadavers? Probably not. No, that you can keep re-raising them. Oh yeah, you can, because I've seen you do that before. Well, there's a gold-ranked one right there behind his knight, and between his knight and his <laughs> hero. <laughs> Kill it. Steal it. Behind who? Wait, which one's gold ranked? The one right next, the cadaver right next to his hero. Yeah, ah, you're right. Cadaver. That's a gold rank. <laughs> There's another one right next to your black knight by my hero. Ah, I see There's it. All the cadavers. I can't really kill rank. that one, but 
I might be able to kill the one that's next to his hero. I just need to make sure I have a unit that can... You know what, I'm going to do this. <laughs> oh, hey, that actually... Ah, crap, my guy's going to burn out, though. Well, yeah, there's, he's going to do that regardless. What do I have left that can move? Just the three units, okay. You do have casting point skin. You could always harmonize energy. If you got enough. I don't know how many you have. I've got enough, but that would also leave my sorcerer kind of vulnerable. I'm, th I'm, What I'm thinking about doing here... Well, what I was actually going to do was intentionally get my Black Knight killed and then reanimate that to keep something in the way down there. But he's actually just going to die naturally, so i got to pick another unit to revive. The other problem is my reanimator is going to get wrecked if it stays there. You know what? Why not just do this? There you go. <laughs> I would like to get my sorcerer out of here, but I want to remove the reanimators first. At least a little bit. Uh, I can't resurrect that hero as a corpse. No, Probably you not. Can't, you can't do it on hero units. No. Okay, that changes things a little bit. Well, I'm not going to be able to reanimate anything on this turn, but they're going to reanimate a bunch of stuff. And I'm trying to prevent that from happening. Because they're going to kill my Black Knight and probably reanimate it right away. Uh... They're smart, though. Well, isn't it just going to die? Yeah. So they're if not they, going to kill it, they're just going to provide the it. The good thing is, if they do that, the black the, the knight is the one that's going to have to do the reanimate, which means it'll use up its turn. Right. So, yeah. regardless, your black knight will serve as a shield against the knight at the very least. <clears throat> the elemental will still do something. For now, I think I'm just going to try to keep <clears throat> this guy alive. He has one knight. He has one knight left that can do raise corpse. Okay, so maybe two it's not as two much as I was thinking. Got, yeah. Two of the knights can do race corpse yet, and that's it. Luckily, the cadavers cannot. <laughs> right. That, that would, would be terrible. terrible. Oh, that would be horrible. All that was cadavers. a really good critical hit. <coughs> okay, well, I can finish him off. Yeah. That is all I can do on this turn. Yeah. Oh! Hey, it's that, okay. That's fine. He was dead anyway. <laughs> that knight was dead anyway. <laughs> not worried about it. We took out that elemental, which was doing fire damage, which I don't like. <laughs> Gotta remember those banshees have phase. That might come in handy at some point. Okay. I need you off of him. I need... You off of him. Well, nah, the Treb won't kill you. You still you got enough health. The knight might though. And my hero has nothing useful to do. I would just have him heal himself. <laughs> you could guard no, him flame bombs. Thing. Uh, yeah, there you go. It might try to kill him anyway. Nope. I was thinking they might hit it with the trap. Oh no, he wanted to revive with the knights, right? Yep. Okay, so one knight left that can do raise corpse. But then there's that one with freaking stone skin. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's a problem. That is a <clears throat> big problem. Okay. That's gonna be a bane fire type problem, I think. At the very least, I should be able to take this guy out. Oh, yeah. Okay, 
that opens up... Oh, wait. Well, my spells don't actually do me any good because he's a necromancer and I can't stiffen his limbs. So I'm still stuck with just casting spells with the sorcerer. <laughs> and that is not going to do nearly enough damage to kill that knight. You want to send your black knights after that treb? I think I can handle the non-stone skin I knight just fine. I do want to do that. I also want to... Which one of those cadavers was gold rank? Uh, the one that's the one, alive. The one, yeah. the one next to my black, my last shock trooper is gold knight ranked as well. Okay, what I'm going to do revived the other is one. move here. I could reach the trebuchet on the next turn and still revive. Wait. Oh, yeah. Still revive that one. Okay. There you go. There you go. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, I was really hoping the cadavers also got Ray's corpse. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Just no. start doing that. 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 that would be a cascading nightmare. Right. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I just had this sudden burst of hope, like, ooh, <laughs> that would be a mess, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay, one thing I can do to this knight is because I got Shield of Protection, I can at least use up all his movement points. Okay. Oh, that did nothing. It did nothing, but it didn't do much to me either. And right. he can't move now. And I want to use... If I could just reach that cadaver with... I can't reach any other cadaver. Wait, I could revive... That's an orc shock trooper there. I could revive that. It's a low level. I don't even think it's a... Bronze. Do reanimators do spirit damage? Oh, the reanimators do a little spirit damage, so... I'm gonna have them sort of help with this guy. Not much, but better than nothing. And... No spells to cast, <coughs> so... Wondering if I could dispel this. You got stiffened limbs, cursed, and crippled on your hero. You want me mm -hmm. to try to dispel it? To it might get rid of guardian flames too, but to get rid of all those debuffs, it might be worth it. Can you do the same thing to try to dispel stone skin? Yeah. Oh. That that would be more important. I should have done that at the beginning of the turn. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure why I didn't think about that. I know. Well, he doesn't have any movement points, so he's he's stuck for the next turn. Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I looked right at the spell. I was like, hmm, I wonder what that would be useful for. <laughs> and then proceeded to complain about stone skin on the night. <laughs> Okay, one cadaver and one knight left, and then the trip. Yep. Two cadavers, knight, and the trip. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> hey! That trip's gonna kill my uh, black knights. Nah, not once you get in its face. It'll just move backwards <clears throat> one spot and hit me. It may not be able to. I might It'll... be able to pin it in with my shock troopers. In fact, it might be up against the edge. It's up against it's, the edge of the map. Yeah, it's against the edge, yeah. So if I move here, it's stuck. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, let's reanimate undead. Can I pick up... I could get my sun guard back. My black knight's long gone because it was re-raised as a cadaver, so... <laughs> may as well... May as well get... Well, may as well get this guy back. Who will be quite useful here. Ah. My uh, sphere of protection is gone now. And I can't that, phase that, with these That's guys. probably okay. I think I can kill that thing. Yeah, I, I can spell... I can magic fist it from right here, so... I don't even think you have to. I could have killed it as it was, I think. Yeah, just to be on the safe side. Yeah, those priests would have destroyed Actually, not really. Oh, yeah. They actually don't do a whole lot of damage. 
Well, it w I guess it would have done six minimum. No, maybe not. Okay, I feel a little better now that he's gone. Why not? Because <laughs> you can. <laughs> he moves what? once for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it just, and is now pinned between the Black Knight and the Shock Trooper. Instead of moving the other direction, which is still only the Black Knight. Not that it matters anyway in the yeah. end, but, you know. One of these other cadavers had, uh... I think your priests are standing uh, on yeah, it. Yeah, I believe my priests are standing on it. There's a silver one. Two spaces to the north of my... That one, I think. But yeah, yeah. that one's silver. That's cool. I get all the cadavers. <laughs> That's a silver. <laughs> so effectively what we've done in this battle is turned my army into Bob's cadavers. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Actually, it's more the other guy's army because my army was kind of weak. <laughs> okay, so... That, 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 was... that is a lot of promotions. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now we just walk in and take the city, I guess. Wait, one of my shock troopers went from silver rank, or no, bronze rank to gold rank and then got turned into a cadaver? How did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> That's a fantastic question. I mean, I know I have that, you know, enhanced experience spell going, but... Well, this is our city now. Okay, I have six festivals to go through. So we oh, know my. where their leader is, too. And I yep. think killing him is now the top priority before he can migrate his capital. All right. Well, I will not wait for the next Mana Core Rider then and just set off after him. What do we do with our armies here now? I guess we just go, go east after across the, the water. <clears throat> Would it be better for me to just go after him since I can just load over the water wherever he goes. My manacle riders can as well. Oh, yeah. We're out. It doesn't matter. We're just If you got an army to send after him, go after him. We uh, may just meet be... up at him, because it's only going to take me two more turns to get there. Oh. Nah, you kill. You go kill him. Well, three more, I guess. So Depends if he moves or not. Apparently this is human metropolis. I'm trying to decide what I want to migrate this to. Because I just... Yeah, I'm changing that one there to elves, so I'll just absorb this one. The next humans. place to go is southeast to the next capital, which looks like there's rapids in the way, so maybe not. You, have to say, you guys have to sail across. I still don't have basic seafaring, so I can't. Well, maybe... <clears throat> maybe if we head straight south, looks like there's some land. Does that connect? No, that's, no it's cut that's off by far. rapids. That, it does well. connect to the same peninsula, but there's rapids between us and the capital. So you'd have to sail straight east and then go south across gotcha. the mountain ranges. Yeah, I'll stick with I'll stick with absorbing it. Well, I can. I don't really care about the rapids. Right. I mean, you can fly straight there. <laughs> Once I'm done with the king, I will so. send my manticore riders that way. But I'm just gonna start moving south. Sounds good to me. I don't really. I'll just follow you, Jake. My armies are just a complete mishmash mess of units, so... <laughs> it happens. It doesn't really matter. And they don't have anywhere else to go, really. Assuming we can handle the Necromancer back there okay, and I think we can. Mm. I have a ton of cadavers, though, and they all need healing. My army is such a just a disaster right now. <laughs> My gosh. Well, you did just go through a massive battle. Indeed. Let's see what items are on the ground here. Oh, just a gun. I'll take it. Just a gun. Just a 
lousy old gun. Just a lousy old gun. That's it. All right, well, before we go too far, you got comments to go through, Bob, since we had to start oh, with yeah. the battle. yeah, that's a good point. I do. I think I'll go through them, like, when you guys are doing your battles, probably. Okay. I'm just trying to kind of get my units into some sort of order here and follow Jake. Okay, well, I'm about to send us over to the next turn. Maybe only just... bring only bring the ones that blow. Well, it looks like there's a land bridge there to the southeast. Again, there, there are there's there's not you and the capital. <laughs> oh, already, right. Already you either that. have to sail straight east first and then go south, or you have to go all the way south and sail around the end of the rapids. Down right. There. I forgot you have the the explorer thing. Sorry, I heard kind of overheard you guys talking about that, but I was trying <laughs> to decide whether to migrate that city that I just took or not. So I was only kind of half listening. Okay, let's go to the next turn, and then uh, I will probably either do the comments during your battles or the beginning of the turn, or just kind of however it works. Oh yes, and I'm making boats. Big, big boats. For some reason, those guys aren't attacking me. Okay, bone collectors and the king moved into a city. Figured. So Bob, I may need your little small army of five here in the middle of the map to join my Manticore Riders for yep. taking that. That's where they're heading. They're going up north. I need to take care of these guys. This is like behind my lines. Ooh. I don't think that Frost Queen's going to appreciate fire magic too much. That's uh, like a 60% fire weakness. Yeah, let's, let's be careful <laughs> about that. And she has exposure, so be careful of that as well. Right. Good call. Jake Swat played with me enough to know and recognize the mistakes that I regularly make. <laughs> <laughs> well, that and I, how, how long did I play Frostlings? Right. You did. For a very long time. Okay. Definitely am going to be doing stiffened limbs in this battle on probably like everything. That was one of the comments. Uh, I'd have to look up who it was that said that. I think it was... No, that was Civ 5 Addict. He said that I should use Stiffen Limbs more often, and he's absolutely right. That's probably my favorite Tier 1 spell in the game. Okay, that thing was still able, despite having Stiffen Limbs, to be <laughs> incredibly annoying. <laughs> yeah. Alright, tell you what. Turn around... He didn't turn around enough, dang it. Okay, those cadavers are gold rank, so I can be a little reckless with them, I suppose. <laughs> those are some unhappy cadavers, too. Uh, you know what? They're going to have to get <clears throat> over it. I need to turn that thing around. So, go there. <laughs> well, that'll do it. That. I'm what I miss. I missed it that the mystic break control to get rid of the stiffen limbs or something. Because hmm. it had strong will. No, oh, he used stiffen limbs on the Titan Sphinx. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it had strong will, so I was just asking if the mystic used break control on it. No. Uh. I wasn't paying attention. Kind of really want to attack that sun guard, but I know in my head that's a bad idea. But I'll do <laughs> a lot of frost damage to them. I think I'm just going to guard and probably stiffen limbs on him. And let's see, these guys all pretty much resist the magic, uh, the magic that the Tiger and Mystics do, so probably may as well just turn into a panther. I'll turn into a panther after they take a little damage. And I'll send them there and just see what they do. Goodbye, cadavers.
Ah, oh, man, I'm too lucky for you. There we go. Good job, guys. Munched. Yeah, that frost damage is very helpful against Tigrant. <laughs> despaired and actually just outright or dead. dead. <laughs> I hate those watchers. And just because I don't really like you very much. <laughs> sure, the feeling's mutual. Probably. Hey! <laughs> unacceptable. Fundamentally unacceptable. What, what did you think was going to happen when you stuck them next to a watcher? <laughs> I forgot about the fact that they do spirit damage. <laughs> <laughs> Back up. You're not done yet. of the not living <laughs> and transform again for heals. <clears throat> she can heal herself you can shoot those guys in the face I could actually pick up more cadavers too but I really don't need them <laughs> <laughs> you, you very well might have enough cadavers for now yeah Okay, and that was another thing that was mentioned to me in the comments, and I suppose I can talk about that here a bit. Um, although, dang, that extra research would be nice. I'm still getting 273 per turn. Um, let me look up what comment this was, because I want to give credit to the right person. Well, we're going to a battle anyway, so I can just go through all of these. Mm -hmm. Um, who was it that suggested that? That I should oh, probably sell more items more often. Wrong. Pointless. <laughs> totally pointless. Oh, that was Civ 5 Addict. Okay, so I gotta correct myself. Civ 5 Addict is the one who told me to sell unneeded items more. <coughs> He's right, I kind of just habitually keep them. It was Arch Redbeard that suggested using Stiffen Limbs more often. So, correct myself on that. I am going to sell that for Civ 5 Addict's advice. I think he's right. I don't really need any of those items. I have enough. The research would have been nice, but it really would have only amounted to two turns of research. I'm not too concerned about that. I'd rather have the gold. But yes, Arch Redbeard was the one that suggested using stiffened limbs more often. Sorry, I got that wrong. Um, guess who 115 mentioned that I left something on the Hall of the Forefathers. The Reaper's... I think he must be talking about. I'm not sure which one he's talking about, actually. I said I left an item on one of these Hall of the Forefathers structures, but I'm actually not seeing it. Yeah, I apologize if I'm just missing this, but I, I'm not noticing that. Huh. Oh, maybe it was up here. Ah, I bet it was this one right here. Yeah, I bet I left an item sitting there. If I'm back down in that area, I'll try to remember to grab it. I don't really have units close by right now. Let's see, there was one more, actually. Oh, yeah, uh, something I wanted to correct earlier about how I was talking about despair stacking. Um, Sergei Shugayev did some extra testing on this. And initially what he was saying is that Despair does stack, like the number stacks, but the effects from it don't stack from beyond times three. So, but then he responded to his own comment and said that it stacks three times from each unit. Um, 
which would be like each of your units individually can cause it three times, but when you add up multiple units using inflict despair effects, it can stack beyond that. I actually am a little confused myself because I still have more questions on that, so I'm just going to leave it to um, the people in the comments to work out because I've already said the wrong thing about that twice now. So if you want to, <laughs> you can check out his comment in episode 2-21. Um, look for his comment there and, and go ahead and reply to it or, or, or talk to him about it because... Um, yeah, like I said, I don't necessarily understand that completely, and I don't want to keep giving out the wrong information like I have been. That's it, though. That was really all the comments to go over for this week, so... <laughs> Not too much. Mm. Now I just... Moving all of my units one at a time slowly towards the front lines. Okay, I'm gonna pull a... my orcs back because they can't swim. So. Bob, Bob, we have a problem. What? Okay, so down south, my second army that's coming in, look what it found. <laughs> How far south? It's fine. <laughs> Ah, and so it begins. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where is my army in that area? I had one. We have, we both have one in this area. Oh, we have two. You or you have two. I, I have, have two one. now. Yeah, because we have them over by that dragon city. Well, I will come back your way and try to help with that. Yep. We'll I'll be we'll be fine same. against that army, but it's what comes behind it. It's okay. Like exactly. So I found a. Dreadnought, two flame cannons, crap tons of dwarves. <sighs> oh, speaking of, there it is. This dreadnought, <laughs> this dreadnought is going down before it groups up with other people. <laughs> Bob, there's now two more Lords of the Deep. Oh no! You've got a pretty good army to deal with that thing, Dan. And yes, Jake, I saw the others. Oh, that's, okay. that's not really a good sign. <laughs> no. Like I said before, that's the guy that's causing Evan and I just such an unusual amount of trouble in our off-camera mm -hmm. game. And, like, I've never seen a computer get as powerful as he did. So I'd rather not repeat the same thing in this episode, because then I'm going to be spending 150 turns fighting the same guy in two different <laughs> games. Rude. Ouch. Yeah, those things... Those things hurt. Oh yeah, I also wanted to mention, I think this was also sure Jay Shugi, if it's a comment that I forgot to write down, but I said something in the last episode about how um, necromancers weren't particularly good against dreadnoughts, or at least I didn't think they were. That's not true if you have banshees, because their scream can cause machines to go haywire. So I, for I forgot to mention that, or I'd forgotten about that. Good point on his part. If I'm going up against the dreadnought, I might want to make some more of those. I don't really know how a tank can become a blood sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> don't question it. To become a <laughs> oil that's just now right. I just drink the oil from the thing, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, taste the oil. Jake, are we seriously? Yep, we are just one space apart from each other. Yeah, so we're we have just to remember one to... space apart. I... We, we got to remember to move together on the next turn. Right now. What I was doing half random hey. single units. You know what I'm gonna do with my army, Jake, since you got floating and you can go down there? Oh uh, what? I'm gonna go straight east. I'll go north okay. of the rapids and start picking on like where Swarger and Turn X are. Okay. That seems to be a lot more useful. I'll just send a massive horde of units in that general direction. Uh, 
I realize I probably could be moving these guys a bit more efficiently, but I'm not that worried about it. Right now I'm just trying to save time. Oh right, these guys were hunting down those irritating green units that I just can't seem to get rid of. Which, I would like to know where they went. Those, you didn't kill any of the green units near um, Tabaron, did you, Dan? The ones that were swimming in the water and kind of nope. just being a nuisance? Okay. Well, they gotta be out here somewhere. are they? These guys just disappear and reappear at the weirdest times. I'm gonna send them back just in case they come back. Just probably just put them on, yeah, have them leave left on camp. Okay, so these, this group of five lousy units here is going to go north, I suppose, and help Dan in Torshore. Um, should I send the, that, those five units north now, or should I wait for your Manticore ride? How long is it going to take them to get to that city? They can make it there. Turns. They can make it there in two turns. Okay, I can make it in two as well. All so right, I'm just going to move them here. This is the fastest route. And I'm still pretty close to Jake's city in case I need to defend it. I wouldn't worry about it. I would just focus on killing him. Because that will remove him from the game. <sighs> so, did you see your one of your cities, Bob? One of the ones we took last episode or the episode before? <laughs> There's a hero and another Lord of the Deep coming. <laughs> okay. These, which these city, are gonna which city was that one? The one that we took? Uh, yeah. It was the one we took at the beginning of last week's recording. Okay. We, we swarmed it. I'll check it out as soon as this battle is done. That's not good. Nope. Luckily, they're all split up like little patches of Lords of the Deep everywhere, but your they were I, th <laughs> I think they where form those, we're in trouble. I think where those guys are coming from is actually kinda close to where your sorcerer's army is going. Well, they're I don't care what you're dealing with. That is not gonna be a pleasant for them. <laughs> right. So hopefully that's the case because then you can because get this that. army is just just keeps getting bigger as you shake off the electrical damage and just eat them alive. <laughs> <laughs> the thing killed itself by hitting my my uh, uh, frosting royal guard, royal guard. That's a little extra mana every turn. I don't actually even need it, but actually these guys may as well explore up here and do some easy battles. Oops, that's a builder, not a trebuchet. Don't quite know where he's going. I just dredge siege to dragon dwelling. Because why not? Because you can. <laughs> I'm going to hold up here with this army. I might take out that uh, castle of the Lich King on the next turn, but I want to give time for my units to heal. They're kind of beat up right now. Oh, that made his armies really grumpy. <laughs> oh, and I get Tireless Army next turn. Oh, that's a fun spell. That's always a fun spell. I do have... This would be a good place to put that builder. Like, two quick turns I need to make next Send turns to make sure Orange doesn't stack up all his units together. 
Dan, is there any reason for me to send an army underground to help you? <laughs> not really. Oh, no, okay. not really. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think uh, so. Uh, Don't quite have anything to do yeah, with those guys. A small army of green there to kill. I'm about to take out all of this crap in Orange's dragon dwelling next turn. Yeah. Plus, I'm coming in with an army behind Dan. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> I've got that covered if he needs help, which he doesn't, but I'll help anyway. <laughs> That's basically what this game is going to become. Dan doesn't really need help, but we'll help anyway. <laughs> well, seeing as that's how I usually play, just helping out whichever one of you needs the most help. Oh, yeah, I should probably reinforce something or cast something. Dang, well, those thorns are great, but they are slow. <laughs> actually didn't disjunct anything this turn. I'll recast okay. Dark Ritual. Got all my casting points next turn, oh, wait, which no. is good. Got that confused with Power Ritual, Abort Spell. I don't really need more cadavers right now. Um, how about another Banshee? Let's sort of decided those could be useful. I don't know what's in that little bag of gear in front of your underground army, Jake. So if you want to stop by and check that out, go for it. I'm not going to bother with it too much. I might. I got some new heroes that could. That it's could probably use it. nothing too amazing, but it's gear, so. Right. Maybe, maybe it'll benefit. Most of my heroes don't have very good gear. It's kind of the way it played out. Ah, now I see what's kind of going on underground. Since I'm, yeah. Since I'm normally the last one to finish my turn, I don't often get to look down here and check to see what's going on. But it <laughs> okay, looks I like there's a party. I got two ready fast to turns to make to group all oh, these guys up so and take we, out some stuff. So you do we, Bob. Well. Oh so yes, we, Bob. yes, that's right. We've got one all right. Move well, to make. I guess we'll see who gets. To I will go move first. your direction, Jake. Okay, I won't move. I, okay. Everybody ready? Yep. 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 Okay, Jake and I are good. <laughs> Let's go down here and see what Dan's up to. I'm not going to move anything until he's got his stuff in place. Right. Looks like he got it. Oh, this will be yep, a good perfect. battle. This will be a slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got my king in on this one, finally. Oh, Berserkers always this guy's back. shot the Forge Priests for four damage. <laughs> that was not a good idea. It's a, it's a support unit, oh. <laughs> and it took four <laughs> damage from a gun. Dwarves are nice. Mounted archers are nice in the right situation as well. Mm-hmm. It's kind of cool to have, like, a tanky archer, I guess. Well, I would say watch out for the flame tank, but a good portion of your units are actually <laughs> immune to it. Yeah, that's not going to matter too much. See, those things I'm going to have to watch out for. I don't know, this guy's about to get really messed up here in the next My few turns. pretty good. But what I'm gonna do... Killed my berserkers. They ain't got nothing on that horse. 
No, no, they do not. those things yes those explode when you kill them so keep that Up in mind thanks yep well yes. then i guess yes. i'm going after it with uh the nightmare which doesn't care and the forge priest which doesn't care <laughs> that'll work <laughs> I mean, it's they'll not care all some. fire damage <laughs> yeah it's half physical half fire yeah. again but they've got enough health. The it first be a problem doesn't care. <laughs> well, the firstborn doesn't care about most things. <laughs> what to do? Uh, Self heal, I guess. Okay. Rude. Well, that seems like a pointless thing to dispel, honestly. What was it that got dispelled? I didn't catch it. Um, um bestow iron heart. Iron heart, yeah. Oh. Well, there are some things about the AI's behavior in this game that nobody can quite explain. True. Every now and then I'll see them do something completely and totally out of character, even for an AI. Like moving that trebuchet one space in the other battle and just staying, instead of just staying where they were, it did them literally no good to move to that spot. It only hurt them. Yes. Now, if they were in a position where they, it wouldn't matter anyway, but it's like the computer feels like, oh, if I can move, I absolutely must have to move. <laughs> See, mm. there's another dispel, like you were talking about. <laughs> Why? Yeah, why? It's a good thing they're using their magic on that. Well, I guess it's a I mean, yeah. Maybe he doesn't have much else to cast on. <laughs> I mean, he's he's going through his casting points and his mana for this, literally no reason. He's dispelling stuff that just doesn't matter. It's not going to save him the game. It's saving the battle. It's over. This seems like a job yeah. for a guy with giant flaming hammer. Yes. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Yeah, six damage. Six damage. <laughs> <laughs> I've had my domain invade. What the heck? Uh -huh. Green's got some scattered units down. Okay. Were you referring to... Okay, I see what city you're talking about, Jake. Mm -hmm. With the Lord of the Deep and the hero near it. Yep. Okay, maybe I should leave at least some units back to keep stuff off of me. Like one of my crappy armies. Well. That's the Dreadnought over there, so I definitely want the Banshee with that group. Banshee, three bone collectors, and their king. Ooh. Okay, you'd make a halfway decent defender. Now my king's entire yeah. army has toughness. Well, that's like what, 20% physical resistance on everyone? 20. That sounds pretty useful. <laughs> Going against Dreadnought, let's go with that. I 
I definitely need a support unit to go with them. Anybody classified as support? Nope, none of those units are. I'll just stop right here and stare down orange for a bit. Uh, green took off. I wasn't watching where he went, but he would left okay. the immediate area, probably because he looked at what I had come. Decided. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Decided, uh, <laughs> had some, some deep thinking about what... Oh, he's underground next. now. Is the he? Man okay. The Manicore Rider, Lord of the Deep, and the Unicorn are all underground yes. now. By the giant city in the middle of all of us. Oh. How'd he do that? There's a tunnel right next to him. Oh, I'm gonna... I must just not be able to see. It must be in that little bit of fog of war. I definitely don't have enough healers with these guys. <sighs> I'll have to send that reanimator back with them after if it's had a chance to help heal. Oh. Dan, I can't, I can't get through your uh, oh, I'm moving your first, your first, your firstborn there. S the slow pain in the ass. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Let's let's see here. Ooh, that's a mess right there. Okay, Banshee's gonna want to go here because machines. Might just throw another one over there for good measure. Hey, you know what? Why not? Okay, you know what, guys? We're actually coming up on an hour here, so I'm going to wrap this one up right where we're at. Okay. We will be continuing right on into the episode, in the next episode, so won't be reviewing any comments between this one and next one. Um, but thanks so much for watching, everybody, and we will see you in episode 20, 24, I think. <laughs>